Welcome to Doki Doki Eggnog Overdrive. The mod where MC is obsessed with eggnog. Yep, that's it. And it's a third of 12 mods we're playing. Alright, let's do this, shall we? We got plenty more mods to play after this. Man, I'm beat. There were way too many tests today. I need to go home and do some active stuff. I feel so stiff. Once I get home, it will be very nice to have some eggnog. Oh, hi, Monica. Hi, Sayori. I want to talk to you tomorrow. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna bring some eggnog to the leisure club tomorrow. I dramatically turned to them. The conversation is now top priority. She said, "Literature club. That's room 405." Mmm, sounds tasty. I can see Sayori's mouth drooling. Not to blame her. My saliva is dripping down to my knees. Clubs are after school. That's the issue. I need a plan. And I need a distraction. I start walking home. I'll ask around the last 10 minutes before school ends to go to the office. But how will Osana-sensei allow me? I mean, I won't have anything that proves I should go to the office. I know what to do. I stop my pacing towards the the school gate and I start walking towards the library. I'll just create a fake office pass and ask to go. That's it. Good idea, Stalin. Hop onto one of the school computers and open up a word file. Alright. Please allow Stalin to come to the office. Seems perfect. I print it out and gently put it in my bag. If it looks if it looks crumpled it might not pass. Alright, now I need all I need to do is wait until tomorrow. The next day. I check the clock. It's 4.15. My time to shine. Unzip my bag and grab the fake office pass. I stand up and walk over to Asana Sensei's desk. Oh Asana Sensei? Oh, whoa, whoa, why are you glitching out like that, bro? What the fuck? Well, it was it look like you're from Take On Me? What's it? What is it? I show her the forgery. I need to go to the office. Alright. Will you be returning? No, I'll bring my stuff. See ya. I walk out of the classroom, and the second I do, I book it towards the literature club. Yes! Alright! Here we go! I place one speaker, specifically the loudest one, at the end of the hall. School property is written on it so no one can mess with it. I walk back 30 feet and place another one. I walk another 30 feet and place another one. Then another, and then another! The last speaker is played 5 feet away from the door and all of them will be on full blast. I run into the literature club and see the locker I will be hiding in. The time is 4.25. Five minutes until showtime. I have a Bluetooth connected to all of them. Oh, we do a little trolling, baby. Can't wait for this. Hopefully this should work. I pull up Extreme Base Boost on YouTube. Right. Gonna pull up something a little bit more epic. Maybe more like, um... Fine boom sound effect on repeat for 20 hours straight. Just boom, boom, boom. Time to silently yet patiently wait. For the full immersive of experience, wait 5 minutes before advancing. No, we ain't waiting 5 minutes, we got like, what, 9 more mods to play. The sound of chatting fills the halls. The sound is not deafening, but certainly loud, and not something I want to hear. I learned to deal with it for the next 10 minutes, because apparently it takes longer for them to show up than I thought. Oh my god, that couldn't have gone worse. Why does the club member limit have to be 5? It's such an odd number. Pun intended. 
I'm seriously so close to punching the vice in the face. What a jerk. Well, some eggnog should cool us down. Monica reaches into her backpack. The fool doesn't even recognize the mistake she has made by getting it out. Then she... Wait, hold up. Then she pulls out... TWO JUGS! I can barely contain my excitement, almost jumping in the small closet I'm in. Calm down, calm down. Now's your chance. I select the first speaker and begin the massive, loud sound. Every club member jumps, and I almost jump too by how loud it is. <laughs> what the hell is that noise? Make hey, it stop! That's right. <laughs> it's coming from the hallway. The girls run into the hallway, but I shall not get out yet. That's right. This guy's not speaker. She grabs it by the plug. Well, Natsuki, it says it's for school use. You can't unplug it. Sayori, uh, Sayori, use your brain. This clearly isn't being used for that. The sound abruptly stops, which means only one thing. Time to activate the other. <laughs> they jump a little. <laughs> they jump a little, but they barely have gotten used to the constant blare of pure bass in their ears. Are you actually kidding me? Why is someone doing this? Yeah! They run over to it. I'm glad I placed them so far apart. I wait for the end of the bass boost. Now's the chance. I load up the next speaker with even more, this time making it extra loud. Press play and get out of the locker. <laughs> the two jars are there. I quickly grab them and stuff them in my bag. I go by the door leading to the exit and slightly open it so I can hear more clearly what's going on in the hallway. This is honestly so messed up. Monica, which appears to which appears to be the club president, walks over to, her, to the plug and yanks it out. The slight distortion in the sound before she fully unplugs it, which proves they are getting more irritated and angered. I'll skip that next speaker. Time to activate the big one. <laughs> I pull out a pair of ultra noise cancelling headphones. This one is deafening. Three. Oh, uh, I gotta turn it down. Two. One. I hesitantly press play. The second I do, the ground vibrates. I fully open the club door. No matter what sound I make, it will be overruled by the master speaker. I look back for a second. Of course, they aren't looking at me. They're toppling over, losing balance, and staring at the master speaker. Their faces are full of pure terror. I make a run for it, running faster than I've ever run before. I was in the school track team for middle school, so I'm pretty fast. I make it outside, out of breath, legs on fire. But it doesn't matter. I have eggnog. I have power! I begin walking home. <laughs> it's still going! Oh, there we go. Now that weird situation is over, let's rest, shall we? That was so random, honestly. What a hole would do that? Hey, Monica, I'm so thirsty. Can you get out the eggnog, please? You're always hungry or thirsty, Sayori. And I already got out the eggnog. Wait, what? Monica opens her bag. It's not in here either. Well, then where did it go? Who knows, Sayori? Who knows? Bruh. Okay, you can stop staring now. Yes, I grab the jug of eggnog and take a large swish. Then I collapse on the bed 
exhausted by the planning and running. Hey, honey, where are all the speakers? You said you were taking them to school for a project, right? Did you ever bring them home? Oh, no. Fuck! Well, that's a bro moment, but at least you got your eggnog, MC. That's all that matters. Eat a bag of dicks, courtesy of the various artists. I will. I will. I need an anime girl that be fucking with me A little badass bitch that get down on her knees Screaming out senpai while she taking the D Baby girl, I'ma have you yelling emoji. I need an anime girl that be fucking with me A little badass bitch that get down on her knees Screaming out senpai while she taking the D Baby girl, I'ma have you yelling emoji.